uh, is, is, is tackling one of the biggest problems, really, for the infrastructure of blockchain. How do we achieve scalability? Uh, it's reached, by their estimates, 8 million transactions a second, which is a big claim. And I'm, hopefully, Tom can stand up whether that, in fact, is, is the case. All right, all Thank the best. You. Hi, so I'm Tom Anderson. I'm the CEO of Devio. So Devio has uh, created a blockchain that we think of as the enterprise blockchain. And so our blockchain has uh, benchmarked at over 8 million transactions per second. Um, we can process transactions at about 1 100,000th the cost of other DAP platforms. So for example, what would cost $100,000 on another platform costs a dollar on our platform. And so I'm going to kind of explain how we were able to scale. Um, but before I do that, there's a few kind of um, foundational uh, concepts that I think help uh, understand it a little bit better. Um, so to start, I'm an experienced entrepreneur. Um, my last business was a robotics business. We added the sense of touch into virtual reality. We created the world's first consumer 3D touch device. Um, I added, uh, I raised over $34 million, took the company public, got into the video game industry, and then uh, licensed on the order about $100 million of video games, um, got national distribution on our products. Um, the video game industry is relevant too because that's where a lot of digital currency started. You know, World of Warcraft gold, EverQuest gold back in the day. I had a website in the mid 2000s that had a digital currency, um, kind of followed Bitcoin at an intellectual level since 2011. Um, but, you know, the reason I like to kind of describe that background is now getting into the blockchain space, we're taking a, a more traditional tech experience and, and tech perspective to grow things. We're not just saying this is what we think we can do, raise a whole bunch of money and then you know, see if we could do it. it. It's more proof things out, get to a point where you're moving from software research into software engineering, um, and then announce yourself and, and kind of grow things. And CES is a, really kind of our, our launching ground. It's, it's kind of our coming out. Um, and being the enterprise blockchain, that's, that's where we're, uh, you know, why it's such a great show for us. Um, another concept that I'd like to describe before I get into kind of how the scaling works, and again, kind of a foundational aspect, is why is blockchain important in the first place? Um, you know, blockchain itself is a pretty straightforward computer science technology um, at a broader level, digital ledger technologies. Um, but really, what blockchain is and why it's so important to the world is because it represents trustless computing. And so the idea that independent entities can all interact with a, a database that's not controlled by a central authority is enormous. It's one of the few technologies we'll see in our lifetime that fundamentally changes computing. Um, the original stated goal of, of Bitcoin was to let two parties independently transact without working through a central authority. And that's such a powerful concept. But the important part of that is trustlessness. And in order to have trustlessness, you need three things. First, it needs to be public. So that table, for example, is white. Nobody has to trust me that it's white. It's right there for you to see. So when transactions happen and they're on a blockchain, you can see that what happens. Anybody can independently audit a transaction. Anybody can independently audit the entire chain. Secondly, it has to be immutable. And so when, when transactions go onto a blockchain, and that's what's really kind of powerful about the specific implementation of having blocks that all reference each other through hashes, um, it's immutable. Once a, a transaction is on it, um, it won't uh, change. And then third, it needs to be decentralized. So you have your whole blockchain, it's public and immutable, and then you wanna make sure that you can see it from different points of view that you know, one computer isn't holding the entire description so that it doesn't change. And, and if you have those three things, then you'd have trustless computing. So, so looking at it kind of from the, the high level then, if you're kind of taking a, a tech technology, uh, tech entrepreneur perspective, and you're working towards that goal of trustless computing, that's the foundation that we started designing our system around. And when I first started getting into blockchain, I looked at a lot of the different solutions out there, and there was no solution that solved all the problems that we needed to solve to build a real business. Um, if you want to build a real business, you have to be able to be scalable. Black Bitcoin handles five transactions per second um, compared to Visa's 40,000. Um, you know, you, you, you can't build a, a system 
where as you start to grow, you know, the system runs out and you have to switch to something else. That's just a, a disaster in, in the making. Um, privacy is a huge issue. Um, a lot of the privacy issues come from this kind of cypherpunk mentality that started uh, cryptocurrency. But you know, realistically, if you're going to build real businesses, you have to build it within government regulation. Um, fraud, theft, and loss is another huge area. Um, I was pretty shocked coming in and really looking at, this, at the space, again, looking to build a, a real business. And hundreds of millions of dollars are stolen in an instant. And everybody just kind of shrugs and says, yeah, that's just the way blockchain is. Um, but you can't build a real business in that way. Um, stability is another huge issue. So, so you know, when we looked at all of these problems, we said there, there's no real solution. And so we just started designing our own protocol. And the protocol we designed is um, the dev protocol. It uses a consensus algorithm called proof of validation. And with the design of proof of validation, then we solved the sharding problem. So, so sharding is a big area of research in blockchain. Sharding basically is parallelizing the, the interactions on the blockchain. And so if you have one independent blockchain that can handle 3,000 transactions per second, for example, um, then if you make a second blockchain, then you can handle 6,000 transactions. If you do 10, you can handle 30,000. If you do 1,000 blockchains and they're all independent blockchains, you can handle 3 million transactions per second. So that's intuitively obvious, right? But then the problem is, well, you have all these blockchains interacting. What if somebody on one of the blockchains needs to send a transaction to somebody on the other blockchain? So you have this cross-shard transaction problem. So that's really kind of the secret sauce of our scalability and, and what we solved. And we're going back you know, a couple of years now when we really first came up with the idea, submitted hundreds and hundreds of pages of patents. I think we could be a real leader in the IP space in this. And, and started looking at you know, how can you handle that, that problem. So the way it works is you have all of the shards, which we call T2 networks. And then we have one network that uh, handles all of the transactions between them. And there's two things that make that work. One is we have a, a wallet designation, which means that everybody's wallet gets associated with one and only one uh, network, one of our T2 shards. And then second is we separate payment and settlement. So when a transaction happens on a T2 network, it hits that blockchain. And then those become, all of the blockchain's blocks become inputs down to our T1 network. And, and the T1 network isn't a master record, it's just a cross shard mechanism, right? Um, and so the T1 network then adds all those inputs to its blockchain, and then those become inputs into the T2 networks for the settlement side of the transaction. So by having the wallet designation and the settlement side of the, the transaction separated, you really can scale to any level that you need. And so again, we took a tech, uh, uh, entrepreneur perspective. We proved it out. We showed it worked. We made sure the T1 network could handle the throughput. Um, really, again, got to a point where we were working not in software research, but software engineering. And then we announced ourselves. And so um, that's, in, in general, kind of how our, our uh, blockchain works, how the scaling works, and how we were able to um, take what's important in blockchain, the most important aspects of it, maintain those, but then create a system that's practical in, in growing. Um, the other thing I, I'll explain is when you look at um, you know, scalability, it's more than just throughput. It's not just how many transactions per second you can have. It's um, you know, how you can handle things like privacy and fraud, theft, and loss. Um, you know, the, the, the stealing SIM cards <laughs> is a great example. Again, you can't build real businesses when you have that, that type of situation. And so we, we addressed the privacy issue, I would describe as true privacy other than court-ordered transparency. And Really, if you have privacy that allows terrorism or money laundering, it's never going to thrive. Um, blockchains, you know, can't be shut down in a lot of cases, but you can con governments can control the interfaces in them. So you really need to work within regulation. So really, to, to me, that's the only kind of privacy that's really going to th thrive. Um, fraud, theft, loss. Again, we designed the system from the beginning to be able to handle an escrow system where you can have um, protections that work even on an immutable chain. And so when you send something out, um, it can, you can flag it as being held in escrow, and then there's special rules that handle the transaction while it's in escrow. And then eventually it turns not into escrow and it, you know, is a regular item on the blockchain. Um, so it's a really clever solution. I won't go into all the details on it. But we, we created also, therefore, the first blockchain that solves all of blockchain's biggest problems. Fraud, theft, loss, stability, um, privacy, and then the scalability, and then 
probably most importantly, cost. For enterprise uses, um, cost is the, the, by far the single biggest um, factor. So, um, you know, this is kind of a, a brief 10 minute description. We have a, a booth downstairs as well, Devio. It's at booth uh, 44922, and um, would love to talk with people more uh, about it as well. So, thank you.